guys, I'm back with part two of the big swipe. So as you can see, um, when I left the canvas to go and download that video, the paint sort of settled. Um, everything's covered, but I do want to get some of this paint off the canvas. It's well, the board. It's just too much paint on it. So tilt this way first. Wait for the paint to run over the edge. Once it's all gone over, stop. Go the other way. It's very heavy. Over the other way, let it all go over the edge. I don't want too much paint on the canvas or the board, whatever you're working on. Now I'm just going to centre it. If you've got too much paint on your work surface, um, well for one it'll pull and two, where the cells are, if the paint starts moving, the cells will just stretch out of shape. So we don't want that. Now I'm going to see if I can tip over that way and let these paints blend a bit. in here. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay, that's got it. Oh, it hasn't quite gone over the edge here. Let's tip it again. I'd like it to go over the edge if possible. see from up here what it's doing. No, it didn't. Last time. Okay. That will do. Swiping time, fun bit. I'm using my plastic sheets, which is what I always use for my swipes. It was a A3 size document holder, 30 by 40 centimeters. It's a nice weight. Um, and it's easy to clean. You can just wash it off and use it again. So I'm just going to lay this down on the navy. Make sure that everything's touching the navy there. I'm not going to put any pressure on it. I'm just going to drag lightly over the other colours. And then when we get to the end here, I just wipe it off. Turn it around. Use the other side. Don't want to use this paint side which has been contaminated. I don't want other colours up in my swipe colour in the middle. If you miss a section like this, you can go over it with a little piece, like so. I'll just wipe that in case I need to use that one again. They're very handy, these little pieces of plastic. And under the table here, I've just got another puppy pedal pad, which these are, under the table, and I'm throwing my used ones of these straight onto there so that I don't have a mess to clean up later. So I've got nowhere else to put them. This board has taken up a whole table. 
So I'm just throwing them under the table for now. As you can see, lots of cells popping up straight away. Haven't torched. Don't know if I will torch. We'll see. Maybe just the top section where the navy is darker. It's thicker, I should say, up here where it's thicker. I may just torch up there to get the cells to come up through because this paint's thicker up here. It's thinner down here. Cells pop up easy where the paint's thick. doesn't pop up so easy. Right, another one. Not, don't quite have enough. I'm going to move this glue down out of the way. don't want to swipe it into my other colours. Right, and just lightly pull. You don't have to go fast, you don't have to go slow, just whatever feels comfortable for you. No pressure on it, no downward pressure on it, just lightly pulling down towards you. this again just to get this little bit that I missed. Hopefully I haven't got too much paint still on the board. It looks quite thick. Let's see what happens. So any bit that you're not happy with you can just swipe over. It's not a problem. around the other side. Same thing. Touch your plastic down into the navy that you're swiping with. Gently drag across. The colours underneath have mixed nicely so we should have a, a nice mix of cells coming up, cells inside cells, which is always pretty if you get different colours inside your cells. It's not a lot of wasted paint when you do a swipe. When you're doing a dirty pour or a flip cup, you tend to waste a lot more paint you need a lot more paint to cover your canvas and then you end up tilting a lot of it off. So there's not as much wastage with this style. These plastic document holders you can just buy from um, an office supply shop in Australia. Um, we have Officeworks and that's where I buy them. I need a few dollars each. Just cut them up, take the top off, and then you've got two pieces. You've got the front and the back. So two swiping pieces from the one document holder. And you can reuse them, which is great. You don't have to throw them away each time. Nearly there. Looking good so far, really happy with it. Now that's not going to quite reach, so I'll do what I did last time and do it in two on the short side. Pulling that navy over the top of the other colours. Navy being a dark colour, it's more dense, it sinks to the bottom. There's lighter colours, less pigments come up to the surface with the silicone, creating the cells. There we go. Dripped a bit of paint on the floor, covering these dirty sheets around. 
I do have plastic on my table. I also have a big piece of plastic on the floor, but I still end up getting paint on the floor. Doesn't matter how careful I am, I get paint on the floor. Okay, so that's pretty much done. I'm just going to go around and tidy up any little sections that I am not that happy with. This side looks good. Um, just a little bit here. It could do with a bit. And this little section here, I'll do that one as well. And then that will be it. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I put a bit of extra of the pearl in this pour um, because I really like the way the, the light colours pop against the dark colours. So we've got big cells, got little tiny cells big cells, where these cells are, the bigger ones, that's where the silver is. You can see there's silver inside aqua, there's pearl inside the blue. So, as I said earlier, where the metallics hit your other colours, you're going to end up with big cells. Here, this plain aqua, not very big, doesn't have any metallics in it. Down here, metallics, and so on. Metallics here. I actually like the difference between the little cells and the big cells. I'm going to torch just the top section. My trusty heat gun. See if I can get any cells to come up through this thicker navy paint that's sitting on top, up the top here. As I said before, it's it's thicker. It's a nice contrast between these lighter colours, but it is thicker and it makes it more difficult for all the cells to come up through them. I'm just going to torch this as well just to try and get some bigger cells coming through that section. That's a lot of little ones there. The heat encourages the silicon or dimethicone coconut milk, hair serum, whatever you're using to create cells, it helps it to come to the surface, bringing those other colours of paint with them to create cells. As I said, this one's, this pore's got the dimethicone in it. The dimethicone's really thick, dimethicone 1000 it is. It's used in cosmetic surgery. It's really thick. So where you get a blob, you get a nice round cell. Some of the silicones are quite thin. You will end up with sort of messy looking cells. They're not particularly round in shape. A lot of navy here. That's okay. With your swipes, try and resist from going over them again. You see a lot of navy, just leave it, don't go over it again. Us painters, we're, we're a bit pedantic, we tend to fuss, fiddle too much, and then we wish we hadn't because we ruined it. So just be happy with what you've got. If you're not that happy with it, try it again next time. Learn from it. But try not to fiddle too much. We've got some bigger cells coming up here now where I torched before. Don't want too many big ones, I like the little ones as well. They will come up over time on their own. The little cells will get bigger over time. And there we are. Really like that. Navy swipe colour, we've got two dark blues, two light blues, 
and two metallics. So it's a nice, nice ratio of colours, I think. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video and um, I'll see you for the next one.